Lots of disturbing information, as you mentioned. You know, this has been a real shock to those who knew the Collins, Stephen, and Cynthia. We spoke to neighbors who say this couple was so so kind and so sweet to everyone around. We spoke to Stephen Collins' brother, who says he's still in disbelief. His brother and sister-in-law are gone. Stephen and Cindy were a very loving couple. Ron Collins at a loss for words. After learning it was his brother and sister-in-law, Stephen and Cynthia Collins, found shot to death inside their worn home earlier this afternoon. He's a great guy and she was a good woman. Neighbors like Greg Birch are devastated. Birch says he can't imagine why anyone would want to hurt this couple. Uh, just This is just shocking. It was uh, the last thing that we were expecting. It's a quiet neighborhood. Not used to seeing anything like this. Warren Police Chief Bill Dwyer says hours after they searched for the couple's nephew, Joseph Borowiak, who was considered armed and dangerous, Borowiak was spotted in Detroit near McNichols and Conant. He made a run for it, but was taken into custody. But it's a tragedy. Chief Dwyer says the double murder is a shock to everyone. This is a picture of Borowiak from his Facebook page. Recently, he posted this chilling message, stating the others posted in the pic will meet their maker. Two of the people in that picture are Stephen and Cynthia Collins. Meanwhile, Ron Collins says this is a time when his brother and his wife should be enjoying their life. Instead, he now has to bury his brother and sister-in-law. Sad, I mean, they're golden years. They're not so golden. The Collins nephew, Joseph Borowiak, does in fact have a criminal record. He served time for cocaine possession, resisting a police officer, as well as robbery. Again, police now have him in custody, and uh, we're going to learn much more about any possible charges as early as tomorrow morning. We're live in Warren, Genovici, 7 Action News. Well,